Hello folks and welcome to a beginner's guide to model rocketry with Max Thrust RC. So as you can see on the table in front of you, you can see a typical setup for uh, what you'd be looking at uh, as an entry into the model rocket hobby. Uh, at the front there I've got my very first uh, model rocket which is the Anestis Metalizer. She fires really nice. Uh, she's looking a little worse for wear now, but still uh, flies nice and straight. So I'll be using her as a uh, demonstration for this intro into the hobby. Behind that you can see some rocket motors. I'll uh, show you those close up in a sec. To the left of that you've got the launch controller. This is the Estes Beam launch controller, which is pretty standard with most uh, starter sets. Behind that uh, you've got your recovery wadding, again I'll show you that in more detail later on. Uh, in the middle there is your launch pad itself, and then on the left I've got some spare igniters, um, but you don't have to worry about those as the rocket motors come with igniters anyway. Well, I hope you're excited, uh, I am, so let's show you how to put this lot together and uh, have some fun. Starting with the rocket itself, the base here is where you insert the motor. You purely unscrew that and uh, put it in. Moving up, you've got the fins. These uh, act as aerodynamic stabilization for the rocket to keep it flying nice and straight as she goes up. Uh, then you've got the main airframe here. Uh, which in this case is comprised of a cardboard tube, have a model rockets can be made of all sorts of wonderful materials and then at the top you've got the nose cone and uh, if you take the nose cone off you'll see the recovery system is in here uh, I'll just pull that out, you can see it's comprised of a parachute which has fallen out there and uh, the tube cavity itself in which we put recovery wadding to stop the parachute from uh, getting too charred as uh, the ejection charge lets it go. So I'll show you now how to actually install the motor into the rocket. So here's a close-up of the model rocket motors. These are C65s from Estes which are about the biggest you can get away with in a rocket of this size and the sort of motor that you'll be starting out on I'd recommend some B's and then moving up to C's as uh, you get a little more confident but there is no reason whatsoever why you can't get away with these for your first launch if you've got a nice big space uh, the designation is here and on the top here you can see we've got uh, igniters and plugs in the top there as well so I'll now show you how to put all these together and put it into the base of the rocket Right, it's important to mention that for your flights you want to only prep the rocket once you're outside ready to launch but for the purposes of this demonstration uh, it's a lot easier if I show you here. Okay let's put it together so the first thing I want to do is unscrew this base uh, you just keep on turning it until eventually you feel it pop out uh, you've got the little lugs there which go in the bottom uh, pop that down there I then get my C65 which you can see here and uh, then insert it up the rear end of the rocket until you feel it uh, hit home uh, there's a little cavity in there that it fits in that's in nice and snug now I can then get my retainer put it in so that the little clips are uh, level with the clips on the base of the airframe and you literally turn it around pull it and you can feel it's nice and secure there it's not going anywhere and that holds the motor in the next step is to install the igniter which you can see I have got here. Uh, it should look nice and clean, there should be no breaks in the metal wire. Uh, it's a very simple process, you just stick it in the bottom of the rocket until you feel it can't go in any further. You then bend it over the edge which should help secure it in place, it might just drop slightly there. And then you take your little pink plug uh, which you can then put up the bottom of the rocket to help secure the motor in place. I then like to twist it so it's the uh, opposite end of my launch lugs and uh, in case you're wondering what those are, those little black things here that the launch rail goes through, I'll show you those close up later on. And once you've installed your igniter you can then twist these out to make sure that your contacts stay nice and far apart so that you don't get a short on your launch and that's all there is to it. 
The next stage is to put your recovery wadding into the rocket to stop the hot ejection gas from the motor burning the parachute. Uh, you can see there's a, a little diagram on the bottom here and effectively what happens is the charge goes through the motor producing the thrust it then goes on to a delay phase which has uh, got some nice white smoke so you can see the rocket going through the sky it then gets to the uh, ejection part of the motor which sends off a small charge and uh, pressurizes the rocket making the nose cone fall off the top as you can see here and that drags the parachute out with it and the rocket is then able to come down on its parachute nice and safely so you can use it again and this is nice and uh, easy to do uh, it comes in this stuff that does look like cheap toilet paper there's no uh, other more elegant way of describing it really uh, all you want to do is get a couple of squares uh, scrunch it down like that and then you just pop it into the uh, base of the rocket you want to do that a couple of times so we'll just get some more off here and we scrunch it up like that you don't have to be precise with it uh, they recommend two to three I like to do three because uh, well it's just extra secure and you make your parachute last a bit longer uh, so there we go this is the last ball and uh, popping that in there so that you can see it's all nicely down the bottom the next phase is putting in the parachute uh, the instructions detail you how to do this there's different techniques I like to basically fold mine until it's into a little sausage shape as you can see I've got the uh, cord here attached to the shock cord and uh, then roll the shock cord from the parachute onto the shock cord from the nose cone uh, it's then quite a simple process of just putting your elastic cord in the airframe making sure it's in nice and tidy uh, the less uh, trapped it is in there the less likely you are to break your parachute you then just slide your parachute into the rocket like so uh, making sure that it all fits down nice and snug there we go let's pop the excess shock cord in the top there that'll be no problem at all so uh, as you can see it's all in there uh, nice and tight and uh, I can then pop the nose cone on which uh, I can do like this and then that goes on nice and smoothly and you're able to uh, take your rocket out to the launch pad okay folks I just wanted to talk to you about model rocket launch controllers these is connect to the igniter which I showed you earlier on uh, essentially the igniter goes by sending a current through it and these are the units we use to do that this here is an Astron beam controller which comes with most Estes starter sets. It's a two-stage controller. You've got a little safety key here. You uh, put that into the hole, press it down. Light comes on to show you've got good electrical continuity through the circuit for launch. You press and hold this button. It sends the full current through the igniter which uh, sparks a little and then it ignites the rest of the motor sending the rocket on its way and you can see we've got these crocodile clips here which connect to the igniter and it's powered off of uh, some double a batteries produce about 24 watts i think um, i've got some slightly bigger stuff so i wanted to make my own launch controller the video for making this is on my youtube channel so if you're interested check that out as well as some of my bigger rockets you can see here that uh, it works on very much the same principle you uh, flick this switch up which arms it uh, you then get a little light for good continuity go for launch press and hold the button and away you go as I say this runs off a, a three cell LiPo producing 45 watts and I've got a cable so I can be up to uh, 20 meters away which is uh, nice for some of my bigger stuff right so that's quite a lot of information to take on board uh, you might now at this point be wondering where can I get all this stuff uh, so I've just done a uh, quick short video showing uh, a few good places you can uh, get hold of some rocketry goods to get your hobby underway and uh, a few useful places to find some very very interesting information uh, so enjoy that and then we'll go out to the launch pad and send her on our way right let's have a look at uh, what we've got here where you can get some of the parts what parts you'll need the best places to start and uh, where you can pick up a bit of information 
So the website I'm on here is modelrockets.co.uk, which is a great website for those of you in the UK. You can see we've got this tab, beginners start here, and they've got all sorts of ready-to-fly sets with motors, without motors. As you can see, there's a good view to choose from. If we just go on the Riptide here for an example, you can see it comes with everything you need. It's got a rocket, the porter pad which is sat on just underneath there, uh, your parachutes and your little launch controller. It's got wadding and it's got motors so that's literally everything you need all in one go. Um, if you want to look at things individually uh, then you've got over here the uh, Estes motors you can buy in single packs. They come with the motor and the igniters and a little plugged but then I'll show you those in more detail later on uh, you can see this is Apogee, this is an American website here so if you're over in the States I recommend uh, them as a good place to start lots of good stuff and uh, you can see here in more detail a, uh, a motor and it's got uh, some of the details down here as well um, those you can have a look at uh, when you've got the time as uh, it's just showing you the performance you can expect from each individual motor. Uh, so going back to model rocket shop uh, you can see wadding and baffles so when you uh, run out of your wadding you can come in here and uh, get some more. Uh, it's literally just some uh, paper towel type stuff that you put in to stop the hot ejection gases from the motor pushing the parachute out and burning it uh, so that is where you can get some of that. Um, also at the top here, uh, United Kingdom Rocketry Association is a uh, brilliant place to get a whole load of information. Uh, anything on uh, clubs all the way down to the legality of it all. Um, when you want to take things further onto your high power rocketry, you getting your level 1, etc. And another great place for information is the uh, Rocketry Forum, which uh, we've got on here. And uh, obviously I've got a lot of stuff on my YouTube channel as well, so feel free to browse through the videos on that. Right, let's uh, show you putting everything together and uh, doing your first launch. Cool. Righty ho folks, as you can see I've set her up on the launch pad. Uh, the launch lugs have just gone over the rail uh, right here, which you can see. And then uh, coming down here, you can see I've got the crocodile clips attached to each individual part of the igniter and making sure that it's not going to short circuit so that they're not touching each other and they're not touching the uh, launch pad either, as you can see from that angle there. Right, so now all that's left to do is make sure we've got uh, a nice clear area, uh, the sky is clear and uh, make sure we have a nice safe launch from a, a safe distance which uh, is only about over there so not too bad right let's uh, send her up into the sky and uh, hopefully start your journey on this wonderful hobby right so i'm plugging in the leads for my uh, launch controller which uh, you can see there um, i shall now check we've got good continuity the lights come on, which we have. So now I'll count down and off we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, there she is coming down. The parachute should come out shortly, which it has. And there's a fairly strong breeze today, so you may have to go into the opposite field to uh, get that back. But that's fine if we do. It's not looking too bad at the moment, and uh, she's floating down very nicely under the parachute. Down she comes, and uh, yes, this is looking perfect. Absolutely spot on. And we're going to get touched down just over there in the field. Absolutely beautiful. Righty ho, let's go and uh, have a quick stroll and have a look. And there we go, folks. That is how she landed. Very, very nice indeed. You can see uh, no damage at all to the airframe or the parachute. Everything's come out beautifully and man was that fun. Well, I hope you've got some useful information from this video and it's inspired you to get into the hobby. As I say, there's a whole uh, load of different types of rockets out there so you're sure to find something that you like. And uh, I hope to see you soon at a launch.
And of course, it goes without saying, if you did enjoy the video today, please do remember to rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks you very much for your time. Cheers.